Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through your linear regression problem. And we've already done this part where we have extracted the financials for Microsoft from Morningstar.com. And we produced a small table just in review that we had the years. Now, I realize these years are different than the uh, years in the previous videos, but those are just a little bit older videos, but it's still accomplishing the same thing. So we have on this one 2012 to 2016 for the years. And the revenue, now the keep in mind obviously these revenue item, these revenue numbers are in billions and they're notated as such 73.72 billion for instance for 2012 and so on. And then we have also the net income figures done the same way for Microsoft for these particular years. And um, with linear regression, I want to focus on that specifically with this uh, particular video. And we have started a, a revenue graph here. So I have it down below. Just drag that down. Just uh, with the data points in there. So basically we've taken the revenue figures and we've graphed them here. Okay. And... Um, very much an unformatted graph. This is like what it initially looks at like when you first tell it to uh, graph the uh, scatter plot. And then when we go to the revenue and when we go and take that graph to the next level, meaning we're getting it ready for PowerPoint, that's why we have all these very bold axes, lines, and um, bold markers here for the data points. And uh, I just wanted to show you how to snap in that regression line. Now a regression line is really the best fit line between all the data points. So it is not an exercise and connect the dots. It's really not that at all. It is the best fit between the data points as you can see from this particular graph where I already have the regression line snapped in there. Also, it re I've asked it to put the equation up there for that line that shows that um, it's not extremely linear, but it's uh, probably close enough in the realm, and that's what your R squared value will tell you is how the closer that value is to 1, in our case 0.622, I've had them closer, but anyway, uh, it shows you, you know, how much it deviates from being a perfect linear equation. And that top equation is nothing more than your Y equals MX plus or minus B, B being the Y intercept. And so um, that is really what that equation stands for, which is the equation for this particular uh, set of data points. Now, skipping down to this one, this is the same graph, it just does not have the regression line in it. So I just wanted to focus, like I said, on this video for the regression part. How do you make Excel forecast for you? Well, first you have to, um, you know, give it the years to forecast too. So let's say my historical data was complete up to the year 2016, which you see my last data point here is on the year 2016, and um, around 85 uh, billion it looks like. Now, and I want to forecast out perhaps to say out to 2018, and that's the beauty of linear regression analysis. It will help you forecast forward into the future with its best guess of what revenue or net income might be out to a couple of more years, for instance, once and it bases it on the historical data that it already has plotted. So I first would like, you know, obviously my graph to go out a couple of more years beyond the data point, which that's what I've already done here. But you can just really click on any year on the x-axis and axis options will come up and you can just go up to uh, maximum and, and say fixed instead of just being an automatic one based on your values in your table and say fixed and, and bring it out. Type in your own year that you want it to go out to. So um, I went out all the way to 2019 even though I'm only going to forecast out to 2018 you know, so it wouldn't cut it off too quick. So forecast out to 2019 would be fine on yours. Make your major unit one, so it's just one year uh, notated at a time on your x-axis. And that should be good enough for now. So we'll close that out. I just wanted to let you know how I did that. So there's my extra years there that I'm going to need. Now, the regression part. Not hard at all. Excel does the work for you. You just need to know what buttons to push. So if you'll go on 
and just click on any data point, doesn't matter. And you can click on it and then, um, actually I'm just going to right click on that one. And they all light up, but I want you to go down to add trend line because that's what we're adding. We're showing what the trend is going to be, hence the name trend line, T-R-E-N-D, trend line. Okay. Now when you right click and you see add trend line, you're going to click on that and it's going to reveal another format trend line dialog box here that we can kind of uh, pick what we need to do here. Now I'm most of my problems I give you are linear in nature. Not all data points make a nice line. Uh, sometimes we have to go with a polynomial instead if there's more of a curve in the data. But uh, since we're just introducing you to linear regression analysis, we're going to keep it simple with more linear type equations, linear type data points. So we'll say linear. And um, to get down to the forecast part, we just got to go down where it says actually forecast. And we want to forecast forward, in this case, two years, which would be two periods. So I'm going to put a 2 in there. That's really not hard so far now, is it? So forecast forward 2 years or 2 periods. And if you do want to see the equation and the R squared value, um, you can click these last two. They automatically pop up. It does the equation for you. It does the R squared value. And the higher that R squared value is to 1, the more linear the the equation is. Okay, that's all that really means. Uh, sometimes professors will say, you know, it needs to be, you know, 0.84 or higher as it approaches 1 or maybe 1.75 or just, you know, whatever value they throw out to you. This one's kind of low. It's like 0.62. So, okay for this one. I usually like them higher than that. But anyway, we'll go with it. So we'll close. And you can see the equation. Now you can move that equation if it's in the way. You can just click on it, grab it, push it up with the four arrows, okay? Now, we have the regression line snapped in there. See, it automatically does it for you. And that is just how easy it is to snap a regression line in. And you can see it went forward two more years beyond your last real data point. So you can actually see for 2018, what are we approaching here? So um, 2017, you see that it's right there. So 2017 up and over. We read this because we go up to the trend line, intersect with that, and then drive over. So for 2017, if I go from here all the way over to see where that lands on the y-axis, and that puts me at 95 billion. So we're forecasting that for 2017, Microsoft should have revenue of 95 billion. Okay. And that's how regression analysis works. Now, obviously, we'd finish this out in PowerPoint, you know, with uh, nice arrows that point to that y-axis value of 95 billion. And then you, you know, also add a text box to kind of explain that in PowerPoint. But we'll get to that in the next steps. But this video is just about the regression analysis part. So hope this helps you. Thank you for your time.